because it's aimed at publishing student work, the fact that it's um, freely available and for the students it's free for them to publish, it means that they're, they have the opportunity to disseminate it quite widely. I think the benefit of working with the press, they're quite a small team, which means that you have a very personal experience. I think the Kate and Tom in particular have been fantastic in terms of understanding the pressures. This isn't my job, this is on top of my other jobs. And so they understand that. The advice is always tailored specifically to the journal. It's tailored to help me get the journal out. It's tailored to understand the situation. So all of that, I think, is something that you get from the fact that the press is local, the press is based around the academic activities of the University of Leeds and the other two universities in the White Rose. And that sort of, the benefit of working with that sort of small team really stands out because they're fantastic. The published version is really, really good. I mean, the, the way that it sits on the website, the way the website looks, it's trying to find the way to describe this. It's hard because it is a journal. It's a proper journal that publishes proper research. And I think that was one of my passions as well, is that, again, perhaps it's hard to explain this. You sometimes feel that undergraduate research isn't taken as seriously as it should be. Just because it's done by undergraduate students doesn't mean that it's not valid research. Some of the best research that I've read is by undergraduate students. You know, if it was done by master's students or PhD students, so in terms of time, that could be two years down the line, people would take it seriously. So I wanted the journal to reflect that, and it does. And I think that means that those articles will also hopefully get cited because the ones that are good enough will actually are just good academic research. It doesn't matter that it's done by undergraduate students. So um, we just used to put the PDFs together and then put them on the website. That worked fine. It allowed us to get some dissemination. It was interesting, uh, the fact that some of the journal or the pieces that we put up were actually cited by other academics. So that was really good. But I think that just the nature of the press, the way that it looks, or the nature of the journal, the way it looks, just means that, again, people take it more seriously. You know, you can tell if something is just PDFs on a website. And for right or wrong, that gives you a sense of quality. You infer quality from the fact that there's been time and money spent on the website, on the production process, the way that it looks all of those sorts of things. And I think that helps reinforce the fact that this is a serious journal and that should therefore allow the students to sort of be confident that publishing with UJPIR is gonna be something that will be good for their careers and good for their CVs.